Is football back? Yeah, I'd say it's back. It's back, it's black, and it's packed. That's a fact, Jack. It's back with a sack. It was fun, you know, just to get out there and you know, play fast. Quarterback, he's back. We picked up right where we left off at. Those throws were amazing. I think he, you know, he played with extreme confidence. It's back with a lot of yak. Coming into this year, not having Malik, not having Cade, we were wondering what was going to happen there. We thought Phil would be steady. Well, Phil's been better than steady. The stadium full of fans and the band. That's the soundtrack. Kick back and relax. This is K-Nation. Play the theme music. Nation, sponsored by 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. Tonight on K Nation, the first touchdown in weeks one and two for K State, the same guy, Jaden Jackson, the breakout receiver, joins the show for an exclusive interview. And our friend Derek Johnson of Rock Chalk Sports Talk is back in studio. We'll look back on week two and look ahead to why a matchup in the near future got more exciting. And it's more than football season, of course. We'll bring you highlights and scores from Jayhawk and Wildcat Volleyball and also soccer. Welcome to K-Nation. I'm Lainey Gerber. And I'm Glenn Kinley. We're going to get to all that. And it is a busy week or was a busy week. And it will be a busy week this week. Yeah. For the second straight season, KU and K-State both start the year 2-0. and How about that? Yeah, two wins makes their job easier, our job easier. Absolutely. Makes everything <laughs> a lot more fun, including this show. Yeah. So let's jump right into it. There's a lot to get to, like Glenn said. 11 a.m. kickoff in Manhattan yesterday. Head coach Chris Kleiman made it clear that this is a good Troy team the Wildcats yeah. took down. The Trojans had won 12 straight games and are among the favorite to win the Sun Belt Conference. Kleiman said the Cats needed this. And despite that 29-point win, it wasn't necessarily dominant. Right. It looked iffy at times, and Will Howard said after the game he couldn't get away with some things he did in this game that he did in week one, and that will prepare him for week three's matchup against Mizzou. But here's a positive for you. Have a day, Philip yeah, Brooks. Yeah, he was good. Yeah, the senior caught seven catches for 94 yards and a touchdown. Plus, he ran in a touchdown, and he was the return man for both punts and kicks. Kleiman is definitely pumped for his bet. I was so happy for, for Phil, um, and we went to him uh, a, a number of times, uh, and, and we're probably putting a lot on him, returning punts, returning kicks, uh, as well as what he's doing in, in the receiving group. I mean, he takes care of his body exceptionally well. He's such a veteran. He's so under control. He understands what we're trying to do with him offensively. All the time, there was always somebody overshadowing him. He's as good a go-to receiver as we have, and that's exciting because we're coming into this year not having Malik, not having Cade. We were wondering what was going to happen there. We thought Phil would be steady. Well, Phil's been better than steady. RJ's been better than steady. J-Jack's been better. Now we got Keegan coming in here. We've got a lot of depth at wide receiver that excites us because because it probably lets us open things up a little bit more. You won't find a guy touch the football more in one game besides the quarterback than yeah. Phillip Brooks did on Saturday. Offense was good. We got to talk about the defense, though. Through two games, the Cats are seventh in the country in points allowed and 15th in yards allowed per play. Star studded group last year. We know they had King Felix, but it's possible they could be even better this year. Ooh. Defense forces three straight three and outs to start that third quarter, and that was a point of emphasis for this year's squad. That's something we emphasize a lot uh, this offseason, called it the four over four. So those, those four minutes um, before halftime and four minutes after. So we know that that's a really critical part of the game and something that we talked about at halftime. So it was huge for us. Coming out um, on the half, like um, everybody has to be focused, locked in. And like that is a big part of the game, they say. So we just always try to like hold ourselves to that standard of like playing fast during that time. With the eye test, maybe the Cats didn't pop this week, but looking at the stat sheet, Wilt Howard was off the charts. 21 to 32, passing for 250 yards, three touchdowns, an interception in the end zone that we're going to forget about, <laughs> along with two touchdowns rushing. Through two games, Howard is tied for eighth in the country for total touchdowns. He was pretty good. He finds a way to get it done when he needs to get it exactly. done, and that's what you want. A and it, maybe it's encouraging. They didn't play great, and you still win by 29 points. Imagine exactly. what happens if they do play great. True. Hopefully we'll see next week. Speaking of playing great, the Jayhawks in that first half, at least, were yeah. really, really good. And it was, uh, they checked all the boxes. Friday night lights, national spotlight, mm -hmm. primetime start, and they beat a Big Ten team. Quite frankly, they beat them pretty badly. And they wore cool uniforms. The, the so. uniforms were sweet. The Big 12 preseason offensive player of the year, 
is back. Absolutely. We'll get to this later with Derek Johnson. Jason Bean is a great KU quarterback as well, but the vibe is definitely different with Jalen Daniels. It's just the not game. the same. Jalen, he's one of a kind. Let's yeah. just put it that way. Great to see him back in action. The booth was absolutely packed. It was a blackout was the theme. And the team, well, they've accomplished a lot in a short time. We know this under Lance Leipold. The crowd packed and they did not disappoint. Illini were one of the top defenses in the land last year. We know this is not last year, but still, I don't care what you say, it's impressive. Yeah. KU puts up 28 points in the first half on a team that allowed less than 13 points a game last fall. Well, we weren't positive if Daniels would play. He did, and he played well. Coach Leipold had nothing but positive things to say about QB1 after the game. 21 completions on 29 attempts, 277 yards, two touchdowns, just one pick. Here's Coach. Those throws were amazing. I think he, you know, he played with extreme confidence. Um, even some of the incompletions in the first half weren't weren't off the mark very much. You know, and I think he had a drop. He was on. That's impressive, and you can see why everybody thinks of him as well as us. I could tell today in the hotel we we're doing some walkthrough stuff that he felt really good. He was really anxious to play. He felt really in command of calls, and I felt he was he was ready. I didn't see any apprehension that he was worried about anything. And that was that was exciting to see. We know what this offense can do, mm -hmm. and you'll hear this from us most of this season. But did the defense hold up to its end of the bargain? Well, I pulled said after the game, this was the best half of football from the Jayhawks since he's been here. First half, Jayhawks gave up just seven points and partnered that with six sacks and wow. two interceptions in the game. The trend is in the right direction. That'll work. Pass rush was amazing tonight. Uh, we couldn't do it without those guys, but we harped ourselves all week to make sure we played physical football and make sure we were doing our jobs in the back end to help hold those guys so they can get there. We're trying to be a different team. We're trying to continue to build. We're trying to raise the standard of uh, our team and raise the standard of our defense. Uh, statement game? I don't know about statement game, but it's a good game. We knew we were going to come in swinging. They were going to come in swinging. We just wanted to get out with the dub. All right, we'll call it a statement game when they beat the Longhorns in a few weeks. I, you you didn't hear it from me. <laughs> Mission accomplished, though. You get out with a dub, and the running backs were good. They're always good. Devin Neal, yeah. Daniel Highshaw. How about this? Neal runs 10 times for 120 yards. Highshaw 12 for 98 yards, a touchdown. And, well, when they're healthy, that duo, tough to beat. Oh, absolutely. I wouldn't want to go. Pray for them. those defenses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, a lot of these guys... Hope to play in the NFL, and some Jayhawks and Cats are already there. Check it out. Here are some local players to look out for on the field in the NFL this season. Former Jayhawk Doris Armstrong, defensive end for the Dallas Cowboys. Earl Bostic, he's on the Cowboys practice squad, so they could team up if he does get called up to that active squad. And Bostic's a rookie. You probably remember him from last year. Also been look out for Lonnie Phelps and Kwame Lassiter, a couple of other recent Jayhawks there on practice squads as well. And here's a guy you probably already know is on a roster. Right. Felix <laughs> Sandy DK Uzama made his regular season debut on Thursday. Now, Ty Zetner, sorry, what were you I, say? <laughs> I was going to say that Ty Zetner, the Topeka kid, made his debut today. Oh, there you go. Good job. He did it because Cameron Johnston's on the IR, so way to make room for him. Both Byron Pringle and Cordelius Lucas are with the Commanders. There are too many players to list. Deuce Vaughn just played on Sunday Night Football. Julius Brents is with the Colts. Rusty East with the, the Rams. I almost said Yams. <laughs> just watch the NFL and try to count how many Jayhawks and Wildcats you can find. Yeah, there's a lot of them all over. <laughs> Tyler Lockett, the list goes on. And Dalton yeah. Reisner, I think, is hoping to be picked up, so we'll see if a, a team wants him. Add him to the list. They, they should want him. How about this? K-State pitcher Jordan Wicks. Well, we talked about him last week getting the call up from AAA. He didn't just get called up. He's been really, really good in the big leagues. Historically good, in fact. He's the first Cubs pitcher since 1901. That's before our, well, we were even born, Laney. Oh, wow, that's Case. before our parents were even born, too. <laughs> Maybe before our grandparents were born. <laughs> yeah. That was when the stat started. The first time in his first three career starts, he's got three career wins. He's only the third Cubs pitcher in the last half century with a 2.25 ERA or lower in his first three starts. I just gave away our age. People know that we're not 120 now. Man, Glenn, you're supposed to keep that information <laughs> private. Well, with NIL, athletes no longer have to wait until their pros like Jordan Wicks to make some money. KU and K-State athletes were on NASCARs at this weekend's oh, wow. Cup Series race. That was at the Kansas Speedway. Dewan Harris, Holly Kerskater, and Jalen Daniels were a few on the KU car. The K-State car didn't feature any faces, but it was decked out in purple. Power Cat logo covered the hood. It was All pretty right. nice. We love it. We'll work on getting those to drive around town. Hey, we yeah. talked football, but a lot of other sports in the fall. Up next on K-Nation, we'll take a look around at volleyball and soccer. Highlights and scores from last week, and it was a rather exciting week.
Plus, we've still got that Jaden Jackson interview coming up. The K-State wideout is making a name for himself when he got little to no preseason hype. It's an interview you'll only see here on K-Nation. Manhattan Area Technical College will help you build a foundation for your college career, like transferable credits offered in your high school, earning your high school diploma through GED completion on our campus, breakthrough to a new career. Manhattan Tech, providing higher education. Imagine looking at life through the eyes of a child, being filled with wonder and excitement about what the future holds. Lewis Toyota knows a strong community starts with those who will one day lead us. We want to thank 501 for letting us be a part of their school district. Support local. Meaningful relationships built upon trust is a founding principle of the trust company. We help individuals and businesses create tailored financial plans and diversified investment strategies that adapt over time to your unique needs. Because we are independent, we can offer flexibility and creativity that many advisors and trust departments can't. If you aren't sure where to start or you're looking to make a fresh start, contact us today for a free consultation. Come on home to West Loop and Manhattan's West Side. Start your journey of hope, growth, and healing with Andrews and Associates Counseling by your side. Briggs Auto Group, proudly serving Northeast Kansas for over 40 years. Central National Bank, money for life. This is the old friends, discover some new. Come home to West Loop and Manhattan's West Side. You think knowledge is a powerful weapon? Here, you'll have plenty of ammo. We turn intelligence into tactical success. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com. Manhattan Area Technical College will help you break through to a high paying career by empowering you in high demand fields. Let Manhattan Tech help you break through to a new career. Manhattan Area Technical College, providing higher education. Welcome back to K Nation. We want to make it clear. We know that the people out there like football. We like football too. We do. But it's not just football because we've got so many good programs at K State and KU. So we've got to talk about all of them. The fall is packed with mm -hmm. sports. Both soccer programs are on the climb. Both volleyball programs are investing a lot of time and money mm -hmm. back into those teams. And we got to look at some volleyball from this week. It was mm -hmm. an exciting week, like I said before that commercial break. KU shows out with the pressure on. In Shocker territory over there in Wichita, the Hawks win three sets to one. Follow that with another. Four set win over Colorado and KU starts the season five and one on the year undefeated on the road Ooh. back home on Tuesday and then the Jayhawk Classic starts on Thursday. Go to that team play. Yeah, K-State Volleyball out in Nashville this week at the Lipscomb Tournament. It's a sweep over UT Martin to start, then a five set loss to host Lipscomb in front of the away crowd. Cats are five and two in the K-State Invitational with Long Island and Rice starts on Thursday. Both teams start Big 12 play after those tournaments that they're hosting. All right, tournaments begin on Thursday in both spots. Let's talk soccer now, Lane. Okay, Kansas soccer gets a 1-1 draw with UMKC this week. Hallie Clanky scores a goal. So hard to get a win on the pitch with low scoring games. Mm -hmm. But here's the really cool stat. Head coach Mark Francis entering his 25th season with the team. And the game against UMKC was his 500th wow. career Clanky game with, with the Jayhawks. They gave him the, the game ball after definitely well-deserved. 500 yeah. games, OJ. That's a lot of soccer, man. Yeah. K-State with a tough schedule and a tough loss this week. 1-0 loss, but that's to a nationally ranked team, 16 Memphis. And the Cats did stay in it. Scoreless at half. Goalkeeper Murphy Schaaf has been really, really good so far this year. The team's Twitter account sent us a cool, well, they didn't send it to us, but they sent out a cool little message. Well, the team did get two commitments from the class of 2025. Feels like that should still be about six or seven years away, but it's actually yeah. not too far at all. Wow. Well, stick around, not for 2025, but for a couple of minutes. Coming <laughs> up after the break, yeah. A breakout star we didn't see coming. The first touchdown in both of K-State's game this year went to wide receiver Jaden Jackson. He sits down, or we sit down with the man lighting up the scoreboard after a quick timeout. 2023 Country Stampede was a blast, and now is the time to renew tickets and camping for Country Stampede 2024. Call 785-539-2222. That's 785-539-2222. More Country Stampede announcements coming soon. Because McCray Plaza has been family owned and operated since 1975, we are able to make decisions that keep you independent and in the game. Get a game plan and join the winning team at McCray Plaza. 
Furnish is a boutique furniture and lifestyle store in the heart of downtown Manhattan. We are your local destination for all of those big city brands. Whether you need furniture, home decor, or a unique gift, we have what you're looking for. Are you a business owner or safety manager? Visit us at the Department of Labor Safety and Health Conference this month. Learn how we provide OSHA testing and hearing protection for your employees. New Sound, keeping you informed. Growing the market for Kansas-made E15 is a win-win for Kansans. What's E15? It's fuel with 15% ethanol compared to the usual 10% in regular unleaded. E15 is more affordable, has better performance, and runs cleaner than regular unleaded, meaning Kansas drivers can go further for less. From helping Kansas farm families by stabilizing grain prices, helping Kansas become more energy independent, and adding more than 4,000 jobs in Kansas, more of our money stays right here at home because of ethanol. Visit fueledbykansas.com to find a station near you. The 2023 Country Stampede was a blast, and now is the time to renew tickets and camping for Country Stampede 2024. Call 785-539-2222. That's 785-539-2222. More Country Stampede announcements coming soon. Welcome back. K-State's offense has a lot of weapons and a lot of experience, but there's still some firsts happening, including Jaden Jackson. He got the first touchdown in yesterday's game and the first touchdown of the season. Yeah, and that last week's touchdown was his first since his true freshman year when he was still at Ole Miss. So I caught up with Jaden yesterday to hear how he's becoming a reliable part of this unit. So you had the first touchdown of the game today. You had the first touchdown of the game last week. What is it about your game that has kind of made you into this early game guy? Uh, just Will's trust in me. When we go out there, we just look at each other and we're like, all right, it's time to go. Your longest catch of the day was 40 yards, double coverage, in a time when you guys kind of really needed to score because it was only a two-score game. Do you turn anything up in those moments, or are you just, you just know that Will's looking at you in those moments? I would say just trying to stay neutral. Um, never get too high, never get too low. Uh, that's the name of the game. Uh, there's, there's a lot of bumps and bruises all, like, all over the game. Um, start off hot, some start off slow, but it's just about staying in that same that same range. And is staying neutral natural for you, or is that something that you've worked on as a football player? Something we stress here at K-State a lot, staying neutral. And so last year was a little bit of a slower year for you after transferring in. What made you want to stick around at K-State for another season like this? The coach's belief in me. Um, loved loved uh, Ole Miss, loved being there. Uh, felt like my time there came to an end. Uh, transferred here under Coach Ward. He he parted with us. Uh, Coach Middleton came in. And he just he he stuck with me. He stuck with me a lot. Um, he helped me truly understand how to be a better like athlete, a better player, and all of that. And then Coach Kleiman being around, stick by me. Coach Joe Hall, like all the coaches, the whole coaching staff, they just stuck around, been there for me when I really needed them. Do you think Coach Middleton is kind of a part of your big first two games of the season so far? The whole coaching staff. Yes, Coach Middleton, but yes, the whole coaching staff. They had a, a lot of trust in me. I ho hopefully even more now. Um, go out there and make plays. Just uh, try to be the best player I can be for the team. And kind of going back to today's game, the O-line moved around a lot, figuring out different things to do. Does that impact you much at all, or do you just trust them to do what they need to do? I trust them to do what they need to do because they trust me to do what I need to do. It's a great unit up front, starting with the starting offensive line, even the rotators are rotating. We just got to make the best, uh, the best decisions for what Will needs, what position he needs to be in so that he can make his plays as well. And how would you describe your and Will's connection through these first two games? Me and Will talk uh, going into drives at practice about like what he sees and what I see. And we just try to get on the same page and then we just try to make the connection. And you guys have a big game at Mizzou next week. What are you looking forward to getting out of the final non-conference game on the road in a good environment? Honestly, looking for the win. Looking for the win. We, we, we want to go in there as a unit, play our hearts out. Perfect. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. 
an easy guy to root for, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. And that interview was right after the game ended, right? Yeah. I appreciate <laughs> him taking the time, too. His family was outside. We were waiting <laughs> for him. Kept waiting for so the k Nation. Thank, thank you, you Jaden Jackson's we family, for giving it. him another 10 minutes. <laughs> That's right. well, coming up after the break on k Nation, the return of DJ. Derek Johnson was so good on the show the first time we had to have him back. We're talking Jayhawk football, Jalen Daniels, Illinois, and more after the break. Jefferson's is the perfect spot to watch the game. Come try our new Loaded Max, or pull up a seat at the bar and match our cold draft beer with our new Mac Burger. Find us at 29th and Wanamaker in Topeka or online at jeffersons.com. Hi, this is voice of the Wildcats, Wyatt Thompson. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide or experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, 988 provides direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, you will be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. For 24-7 non-judgmental support, just call, text, or chat 988. Jungle House has moved, and we would love to show you around our new digs. Bring a new friend to school with you that will add life to your dorm room or apartment. We have plans for all. Find us at our new location, 6 East 7th Street, Lawrence, Kansas. See that kind gentleman over there? He's fixing my windshield. What happened to your windshield? A rock chipped it, and Topeka Auto Glass is repairing the chips so that I don't have to replace the whole windshield. That had to save you a lot of money. It did. And they called ahead so I knew when they were coming. Finally, a company that cares about my time. Oops. Protect your home from sudden power outages with a Generac Home Standby Generator. Installed by Shockwave Electric certified experts. Call Shockwave Electric for all your commercial and residential electrical services. Jefferson's is the perfect spot to watch the game. Come try our new Loaded Max, or pull up a seat at the bar and match our cold draft beer with our new Mac Burger. Find us at 29th and Wanamaker in Topeka or online at jeffersons.com. Welcome back to K Nation for the second straight year. The Jayhawks are 2-0. Oh. we got to talk more about it. Exciting time for Kansas football. Definitely. So we have a guest to help us talk uh, about it. Derek Johnson, Rock Chalk Sports Talk radio host, is here with us. Derek, thanks for joining us again. Yeah, glad to be back. I, I knew everything, where everything was. I knew where I was going this time, so it was great. It the was so easy. Yeah. The viewers loved it so much, I said, please <laughs> bring Derek back yeah. on the show. You even knew where the bathroom was. <laughs> wow. That's yeah, the yeah, no, that, that was the biggest thing. I, I disagree <laughs> on the viewers thing. They are probably like, oh, this guy again. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> well, talking about Jayhawk football now, the reason why you came, not just to go to the bathroom here. <laughs> KU got a big win against Illinois with Jalen Daniels back. What more do you want to see this team do in this final non-conference game? Well, Nevada's not a great team. They lost big to USC. Then they got trounced by an Idaho team that's an FCS yeah. team last week. So uh, this game for me is more about the mental side of it. Can you get up for a game after you looked so good against Illinois? Uh, you're going to be on the road late game, 9.30 mm -hmm. Central Time in a little bit of altitude up in Reno. Can you just get up for the game mentally? Because I think we saw a lot of the questions answered in the Illinois game. Run defense was a lot better. Pass rush was there. Jalen Daniels was back. Offense looked good. So really impressive effort. It's just about can you now show consistency mm -hmm. and build off of that into this next week. Yeah. It's kind of about playing a full game. They looked a little rocky to start the Missouri State game. Then the second half against Illinois was maybe they didn't quite put them away. So we had a good second half in the week one, a good first half in week two. And how can we get them both? I'm curious your grade. Can you give them a grade A through F on what you've seen? A plus being mm -hmm. Big 12 championship, college football <laughs> playoff, and mm -hmm. F being, uh, you know, it's back to the old this KU football. Sure, yeah. sure. <laughs> um, I, I think right now, if you looked at just the first half of the Illinois game, that was an A plus mm -hmm. plus. That might have been the best first half of football in the Lance Leipold era so far. Uh, obviously, like you said, a bit of a slow start in the Missouri State game. But uh, right now, I mean, I mean, if A-plus is, is college football playoff, <laughs> Big 12 title, I'm not going to qu quite go there. I don't know, B-plus, maybe A-minus. Like, mm -hmm. I don't think it's that crazy to say when you look at some of the Big 12 schools that have either lost or struggled early in the season. Uh, why can't Kansas at least be a contender? Now, Texas, Kansas State, clearly those two schools have shown that they're probably above the rest. Oklahoma looks really good. So I'm not necessarily saying that you would put Kansas above those schools. 
but can you at least be a contender? Can you win eight or nine games? I, I don't think that's out of the park. So uh, from that standpoint, yeah, I mean, A minus, B plus, and uh, we'll wait and see what happens once they get to week five, if they can be undefeated till then and, and possibly be playing Texas after they just beat Alabama this weekend. Yeah, a lot of the guys are saying, why not us before mm-hmm. this season? Mm-hmm. Why can't we be one of those teams? And Devin Neal, Daniel Hyshaw had a great game. I saw they were the first KU running back duo to have more than 100 yards each since 2019. What do you want to see out of their usage the rest of this season? Man, the big thing for Devin Neal is just staying healthy over mm-hmm. the course of the season. We saw last year when he was at his peak at the end of the year, he had that unbelievable Oklahoma State game that got them bowl eligible. And then the very next week against Texas Tech was great as well, even though they lost the game. It's just a sustaining that health. He looks like an NFL running back out there when you're watching some of the vision and the cuts that he's having. With Daniel Hyshaw, you know, he was working back from the injury. I didn't think he looked great in the first half last week or two weeks ago against Missouri State, Mm -hmm. but uh, really the explosiveness came about. He had the touchdown, and you saw it against Illinois. So, you know, working back from that tough injury, it's just continuing to see the explosiveness come back, holding on to the football. He's had some fumbling issues in the past. Uh, But both those guys, as long as they stay healthy, which again, High shot the injury last year. Neil was banged up at different points throughout the season. Uh, that's one of the best back duos in the entire conference in the country. So it's just staying healthy because once they're on the field, they're more than talented enough to make big plays. Yeah. Let's close with this one. We'll talk about the quarterbacks. That's mm-hmm. typically people like to talk about those guys. Jason Bean is really good. There's something about Jalen Daniels, man. When he gets in there, even if Bean completed yeah. 30 of 30 passes, Daniels gets in there and you say, yeah, this offense looks like another level. Well, I, I think what it is with Jason Bean, if Jason Bean was KU's starting quarterback and doing what he's doing now, and there was no Jalen Daniels, mm-hmm. he just disappeared or he wasn't whatever, Jason Bean would be thought of so highly by KU yeah. fans. I think KU yeah. fans think of him highly, but he would be the best KU quarterback since probably Todd Reese. Mm-hmm. But it's just that Jalen Daniels is even beyond that. He's not just the best quarterback at KU's had since Todd Reesing. He is a legitimate early in the season Heisman candidate. I mean, we saw that last year before he got injured. He's putting up ridiculous numbers. Some of the plays that he made, the one where he's darting by (laughs) Jerzon Newton in the end zone, avoiding the safety, throwing downfield. At the end of the half, the throw to Luke Graham. I mean, uh, this guy is unbelievable what he does. He just takes everything to the next level. And he's exciting to watch. He's he's entertaining. He's fun. He's got a great charisma, personality about him. It's hard not to fall in love with him when you're watching him play football. Yeah, the guy had three or four plays on Friday that could have been SC top ten. Mm-hmm. I think one of them yeah. was number two on yeah. Sports Center. He had a bunch of them. Yeah, and we'll hopefully see a lot more. Derek, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thanks, man. And everyone, stick around. There is more K Nation after the break. Honey, what are you doing? What? I just fixed the leaky chimney. Call Certified Fireplace and Chimney. We fix leaky chimneys properly. Because McCrite Plaza has been family owned and operated since 1975, we are able to make decisions that keep you independent and in the game. Get a game plan and join the winning team at McCrite Plaza. Sports! We have everything that you're looking for at Play Play Against against Sports. New and used sports and fitness equipment with used up to 50% off retail. You can create your own discount by trading in and trading up. Sell us your gear and get cash on the spot or even get store credit. Play It Against Sports has something for every athlete, all seasons, all sports, on any budget. We're open every day in the Fairlawn Plaza Mall. Game Game on! Fidelity Bank is celebrating 100 years, empowering customers since 1922. Debbie Orr, Senior Vice President and Consumer Loan Officer at Fidelity Bank, with reasons to have your auto loan right here at home. We are offering competitive rates and terms on auto loans. Contact one of our friendly associates and we'll make it easy. Fidelity Bank, we do business right here at home. Imagine looking at life through the eyes of a child, being filled with wonder and excitement about what the future holds. Lewis Toyota knows a strong community starts with those who will one day lead us. We want to thank this Seaman School District. And please remember to shop local. Go Vikes! Do you have water damage from storms? Give Certified Fireplace and Chimney a call before the damage gets worse. We'll inspect your chimney inside and out, then we'll make any necessary repairs. Don't wait until it's too late. Call Certified Fireplace and Chimney today.
Welcome back to K-Nation. The Jayhawks, the Wildcats, both doing well so far. In fact, they're both in the win column both weeks. Let's talk sports betting. Absolutely. The K-State and Missouri game keeps moving us on. Last time we checked, it was minus four and a half for the Wildcats on the road at Missouri. That's on DraftKings. And Jayhawks heavy, heavy favorites, minus 27 and a half at Nevada. That means Cats need to win by five or more, Hawks by 28. All right, we'll see if they can make that happen. And uh, so far, so good. Hopefully, they beat, at least both get wins. If they cover, that's great. Yeah, well, thanks for watching K Nation. We'll see you next Sunday. We needed that game. We needed to have our O line go against uh, really quality people like Dex. That's what it's going to be all year. First half was mighty as good a football as we've played since we've been here, I mean, honestly. Going into a big week next week. I feel like we went out there and executed our jobs today.